Jose Bat Marquez was born on January 19, 1960 on the U.S. side of the border and grew up in the barrios of San Diego where he joined the Del Sol street gang in his early teens. By the age of 19, after numerous brushes with the law, he had been arrested for grand theft, grand theft auto, burglary, resisting arrest, and battery on a police officer. When he was 20, he was convicted for drug sales and sentenced to seven years as a drug addicted felon. He was released after less than two years. Three months later, he was arrested for burglary. This time he was sentenced to six years in state prison where he launched his serious criminal career as a loyal Sudeño from San Diego, putting in work for the Mexican Mafia and performing many executions on behalf of the Ariano Felix Cartel. Like fellow San Diego gang members David Popeye Barron and Martin Joe Corona, Bat would achieve the rarefied status of completing the gang trifecta. In 1984, Bat was already a functioning prison sureño, loyal to the Mexican Mafia, and was transferred to San Quentin after assaulting a Norteño inmate with a shovel. He was charged twice that year for weapon possession charges. While at San Quentin, Bat became friends with fellow Sureño and San Diego gang member David Barron, also known as Popeye from Logan Heights. Bat Marquez was recruited by the Mexican Mafia sometime in 1985, and it was Bat who would later sponsor Popeye into the Emmy. In June of 1987, Bat Marquez was again paroled, and in 1988, he teamed up with Roy Boy Rivas, another San Diego gang member. The two attempted to kill a target named Reggie Magaña. In January of 1989, Bat and Roy Boy stabbed a drunken party crasher at Bat's house on Market Street. Later, the Bat Roy Boy hit team murdered a man in a Tijuana junkyard, shooting the victim with 380 and 9 millimeter rounds. In September of 1989, Bat was convicted and sentenced to a five-year sentence for methamphetamine sales. Prison did not hamper Bat's propensity for murder. In March of 1991, acting on Bat Marquez's orders, Roy Boy Rivas and Ken Bugalu Flores murdered Christopher Garcia in San Diego. For this killing, Roy Boy was rewarded in October of 1991 with membership into the Mexican Mafia at Donovan State Prison, where he was sponsored by Bat Marquez and Black Dan Morello. In November 1991, Roy Boy, Rivas, and Bat were transferred to Pelican Bay State Prison, the most secure facility in California where most Mexican Mafia members were housed at the prison's security housing unit, the SHU. When Roy Boy paroled in April of 1992, he was contacted by fellow San Diego gang member David Popeye Barron, who was a methamphetamine cook with ephedrine connections in Mexico. On June 25, 1994, Bat attended a meeting with about a dozen of his Mexican Mafia carnales at the Days Inn Motel in Monterey Park, just east of Los Angeles. The Los Angeles Metropolitan Violent Gang Task Force, led by the FBI and LA Sheriff Sergeant Richard Valdemar surveillance team, were covertly monitoring this meeting. As the tapes rolled, Mexican Mafia members discussed the extortion of actor Edward James Olmos for his disrespect to the Emmy in the movie American Me. Bat and his Emmy cohorts also talked about their alliance with the Ariano Felix Tijuana Cartel and the proposed contract on Chapo Guzman, the leader of the rival Sinaloa Cartel. Quoting from Sergeant Valdemar, the meeting was recorded with both audio and videotape. Attending this meeting was Jose Pat Marquez. This is how I first heard about the Christine Discotheque shootout and the assassination of Cardinal Posada. 
as narrated by MM member Bat Marquette. Bat's purpose was to ask his mafia brothers to assist Popeye and the Arianos to find and kill Chapo Guzman, the head of the Sinaloa cartel. The Arianos offered $2 million in whatever state they wanted in Mexico. They also offered drugs and heavy artillery and their help crossing it into the U.S. Bat warned it would not be easy. He said that Chapo neither drank nor used drugs. He takes care of his family and soldiers. He has a 40-man security force and drives a tricked-out four-wheel drive armored car. He does car bombing, but he does have a weakness. He worships he Satan. Worships Satan. He had a small son who was ill. Chapo would bring him to the U.S. to be treated because Chapo doesn't trust Mexican doctors or hospitals. End of the quote. Matt said he wanted to start a chemical lab store and would pick up five drums of ephedrine the following week in Mexico. He would keep the chemicals on the Mexican side of the border, but the Mexican mafia carnales were welcome to all they wanted. 